Hi guys, welcome to a new video. So today I am going to do my makeup collection video and I've been wanting to do this for a while and I've come to a point where I've decided to stop buying makeup. And by that I mean makeup I don't need. Like I have so much makeup honestly that I am usually very overwhelmed when I want to use something nice and I don't know what to use. So I decided to stop buying all the new cool stuff and this was especially hard with Kylie Cosmetics. It's my favorite brand and every time she would do a launch I would buy something from the collection. So it's been very hard but I need to, you know, I need to stop. It's just bad. So let's just get into it. I've decided I'm not going to go through each lipstick just because that would take forever but I'll show you guys all my palettes and I'll show you like an overview of my lipsticks and stuff so this is where I get ready and do my makeup everything on this desk is my everyday stuff or stuff I like to just keep there just in case I want to use so I'm going to start off with my brushes these are my favorite brushes and I use them on a daily basis I'll just tell you guys the brand this brush is from line crime and honestly I would not buy their brushes I didn't love them. This one I just used for underneath my brow. You could literally use any brush for that. I thought they were super cute, but they ended up not being worth the money, honestly. These are all Kylie brushes. These are Fenty Beauty brushes. These are Real Techniques. This is from the Tarte Unicorn Collection. The foundation I'm using right now is a Dior Backstage Foundation. And right now I'm using a Beauty Blender. Although this is the sponge I usually use, it's by Fenty Beauty. And it's the Precision Makeup Sponge. I love this sponge so much. It's so good. This is a blush I'm currently using, which is ColourPop. I have had this sample forever and I still have it. This is the highlighter I'm using right now. I also have the Sephora Pro Dimensional Highlighting Palette and I thought it was so cool when it first came out. I haven't really used it because I don't know how to but on days when I'm not wearing foundation I will pop some of this on. This is the Deep Bronzy Anti-Pollution Sunshine Serum. This is just some of the stuff I have here. This is a Marc Jacobs eyeliner, a Givenchy brow product, some mascara, some more brow stuff, and this is a brow highlighter. Over here I have my Taja Silk Canvas Primer that I don't really love. This is the Dior Forever and Ever Control Powder. And these are some eyeshadows from ColourPop and then some everyday palettes. I have the Naked 2 Urban Decay Basics which looks like that and the Natural Matte Too Faced Palette which looks like that. Over here I have some backup products. So that was the sponge I showed you guys earlier. This is the Milk Makeup translucent powder these are some clear makeup storage containers and i just have matte lipsticks on the top i have lip balms and lip glosses here and in this one i keep lipsticks here i keep my mascaras eyelash glue and like some other stuff in here i have my nars orgasm blush i have the hula bronzer this is a concealer some more eyeliners the eyeshadow potion primer this is the milk makeup kush fiber brow some more concealer and this contour pen in here i have highlighters this one is winky lux the mini fenty highlighter a mini becca uh, color pop max soft and gentle it's like this pink and white highlighter. I have a Nature Republic stick highlighter in here. And this is a Jeffree Star highlighter. So this one is Peach Goddess. On this side, I have a bunch of palettes. So this one is my James Charles palette and it's huge compared to like basically every other palette I have. So I also have the Sephora Pro palette. This is the colorful one. I'll just show you guys inside because I'm not sure what it's called. This is what the inside looks like, and it was my first colorful palette, so I love it so much. This is my Kylie Custom palette, so I'll just show you guys in there really quickly. I have the Kylie Bronze Extended palette. I have two Huda Beauty palettes, the New Nude and the Rose Gold palette. I also have the Saharian by Juvia's. I have the Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics palette. Oh, this one's super cute. It's the Pixie Glow 
palette. It has Tinkerbell on it, and it's so cute. This was one of my first palettes I purchased, so it holds a special place in my makeup collection. This is the Melt Gunmetal Stack, I believe, but it's super cool. <gasps> Oops. Again, this was one of my first palettes. This is the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette, my Modern Renaissance Anastasia palette. This is the Kylie Summer palette. This is the Naked 2 palette. And this is my Olivia Jade highlighting palette. What do you guys think? Is she canceled or what are your thoughts on that? In this box, I keep a bunch of single eyeshadows and stuff like that. So I have some Urban Decay, a lot of ColourPop, Sugar Pill, Kylie Cosmetics. Um, these are like eyeshadow paint i don't know how to describe these so that is all of the makeup i have on the top now we are down here and i have a cabinet and then i have this bag on this side i keep brushes that i don't use and extra makeup bags on this side i have extra foundations so this is a Givenchy matissim velvet this is my favorite foundation this is a dior forever undercover 24 hour Full coverage foundation. This is a Stila Stay All Day foundation. As I thought, like the eyelashes don't really stick and they kind of just fall off. So we're just gonna close that. All right, so before we go through this makeup, I just wanna let you guys know all the stuff that I have on my desk is stuff that I try to use all the time. So this stuff we're gonna go into is more of my collection, stuff I don't really use, stuff I really love. I really want to try to get through all of that stuff that's on my desk. This is a disclaimer. This is going to be a lot of Kylie Cosmetics, so let's get into it. So first thing I'm going to show you guys, just to start off easy, is this Evian and Chiara Ferragni collab water, and I love it. So let's go through this box first, and are we ready for this? Bam. Yes. I know. There's a lot. I don't know how to go about this. Basically, this box is full of Kylie Cosmetics lipsticks lip glosses so all of these are kylie cosmetics if you go through these these will all be kylie cosmetics um yeah these are all kylie cosmetics all of them over here are all of the lip liners and i'm not gonna go through these because i actually there's a certain way i put them in so they wouldn't be all mixed up and I don't want to mix them up right now. These are all the minis I have and I have like one of her new lip glosses. And then over here I have the bullet lipsticks and that is what is in this box. So in here I think is more Kylie Cosmetics. Yep. These are all of the palettes I have. This one is the pressed illuminating powder and oh my gosh guys I'm so glad I have this when it sold out the first time I was so sad and I kept trying to get it and I wasn't able to get it So now I finally have this one. I also have her What was this Valentine's or Christmas wet set Start from the stormy collection This is a skinny dip highlighting and contour. This is the bronze palette um i don't know what palette this is i think it's like the sweet something palette it doesn't say okay i guess i have to show you guys these because i don't know what i think this is a purple palette this is the blue honey so this is the burgundy palette her sipping pretty palette kylie's diary i want it all chill baby the summer palette again the first one that i had up there was Damaged, so they sent me another one and then I got to keep the other one. So I just keep the other one up there This was one of her Christmas palettes. I don't know what it's called I think it's nice or naughty something like that. This is the peach palette And this is a take me on vacation palette in this small box surprise more Kylie cosmetics Oh no angel do not at all regret it. Look how beautiful and I love this packaging. This is the your perfect perfecting powder this is a highlighter and it actually came out of the pan in one of my videos so i will put an eye card so you guys can watch that happen I'm very sad about that some eyeliners and some eyeliner brushes so these are some loose highlighters this one's queen and this one is wisteria i have these although this one i think is a 
Yeah, the dark bronze is a eyeliner and the rose gold is a cream eyeshadow. These two are cream shadows. This one is Snowflake and this one is Northern Lights. This is another eyeliner in the color brown. And then these are some more liquid eyeshadows. Oh my gosh, that's what they're called. These are the shades. And there's a new pink one that I really want, but I didn't buy it. And I think that shows some progress. In here, this is my pretty box of lashes. This is where I keep my Lily lashes and just my favorite lashes. So this is how I organized it with these little stickers. Guys, this is a project story. Look, his little nose is destroyed. This is a Moss Chino and Sephora collection collaboration eyeshadow palette and I love it so much and I'm so sad I scratched the nose because it's limited edition and it's not coming back and I destroyed the nose. I'm very upset about this every time I see it, so don't remind me. And it's so cute. This has a little mirror. Hi guys. And then this is the eyeshadow palette inside. This is one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes. It's just really a collector's item and I hate myself because I took it out of the box so I would have more space and I ended up scratching the nose. So I do not deserve to buy any limited edition collection items anymore. All right, guys, these are the last things. We're finally almost done. We'll just go through this black one first. This is actually a new addition. I just bought this in December, and it's just a powder foundation. So that's just what it looks like. This is a Marc Jacobs highlighter, and it's so gorgeous. It was limited edition. Yeah, so it's just gorgeous. It's the Omega Glaze Guilty. This is a Pokemon eyeshadow palette, which honestly is so cute and it's probably not the best eyeshadow i honestly haven't used it it's just a cute little thing like the mirror has a little pikachu on it and then it has this little thing so it's just a really cute little piece i also got this cushion foundation which i think is too light for me i don't know but it's really cute and i probably won't use it because it's just a cute little thing i of course have the milk makeup holographic stick because why would I not have that? I also have the powder version. This is a lipstick in that color and I just love these lipsticks. The way they open is awesome and it's just this color that I love. These are just some limited edition Tarte items. It's like a rose gold eyeliner. This holographic mascara the first Sally unicorn essence i want candy highlighter it smells so good and it's a really pretty color this is my first chanel lipstick i ever bought and it's in this very obnoxious pink color and i don't think i've ever used it because when i was in middle school or high school i was obsessed with buying these obnoxious pink colors that are not wearable and now I just have a bunch of these things. Here are some more things. I'm just going to quickly go over some Jeffree Star lippies. This one is Gemini because I'm a Gemini and I wanted it. And this one I think is a celebrity skin. These are all Glossier lip balms. This was a sample I got on my Ipsy. And this is a liquid eyeshadow. Lime Crime was one of my first makeup obsessions. I think I was in high school, like a freshman, when I first discovered this brand and I was obsessed. This is Geranium. It was my favorite lipstick. This is some Fenty Beauty. This is the lip gloss I love so much. And this is the lipstick single. This is some Tarte Unicorn Tears lipsticks because, again, Holographic needed that. This is a very pretty liquid eyeshadow in C Siren and along with this Becca lip gloss very much my aesthetic this is the smashbox petal metal shimmer drops this is my favorite sugar pill liquid lipstick it's this super cute nudie pinky color but it also has golden glitter in it and as you rub your lips you can see it more and it's so beautiful it's the color trinket so i have the jeffree star thirsty palette I don't know, this palette just spoke to me when I saw it. I also have the Natasha Denona Tropic palette, and this palette is amazing. It's so beautiful. I have the Naked 3 palette, the Prism palette. Honestly, I, I don't know why, but this sphere color sold this palette 
to me. I have the Anastasia Moonchild palette, of course. This is the Petal Metal Highlighter and Prismatic Petal. You guys just needed to look at this because look at this. It's just so crazy and intense and beautiful. This is the Marc Jacobs Iconic Fantasine palette and it was limited edition with their coconut collection. This is the Kat Von D Alchemist Holographic Palette. This is the Fenty Beauty Highlighter Stick and Confetti. This is the Fenty Beauty Highlighter in Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal. These are some Givenchy highlighters. This is the first one. This one is Powder Luminaire Originelle. And this is the bouncy highlighter in african light gold their designs are always so beautiful on their highlighters and lastly this is my unicorn tears highlighter super cute my makeup is all packed up and ready to be in its little cabinet that took a lot longer to film than i thought it would but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed the video lately i've just decided to be more about quality than quantity with makeup like no one needs this much makeup, honestly. It was just one of my guilty pleasures for a very long time. I think from high school, like before I even had a job, I used to go on this app where you would just watch trailers. It was called App Trailers. And you would get gift cards. And I would always buy Lime Crime. And I don't even know what else on Amazon. But it just kind of blossomed into this huge makeup collection. And it's just crazy. So, like I said recently, I decided not to buy makeup I don't need. If something is limited edition, I might not be so strict about that. But I'm also trying to think about what do I actually have in my collection. Do I really need it? Is it worth it? I mean, if you add up how much I spend on makeup, it's just insane. And I would rather have saved that money. But here we are with my bad money spending habits. So... We're just gonna move on. I mean, everything's about changing. I am just trying to learn and get better with money and makeup. It's not necessarily something I will need to spend money on for a very long time because of my collection, except for like foundations and stuff like that that you obviously run out of, but you know, I'm trying. And I know this collection is kind of crazy and it's too much it's really too much i'm just wanted to put it out there i'm not bragging i just know these videos are pretty popular on youtube and here is mine all right guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more i'll see you guys next time bye